Right, okay, first off, uh, sorry it's not more of a glamorous background or a glamorous video for you because I'm in Bradford in my car and it's raining and it's a terrible day uh, and I wish I was in the sunshine. However, that brings me uh, to Tenerife, uh, which is what I want to speak about today because a lot of my, v uh, my viewers uh, will know me from the Tenerife videos, from the initial videos uh, in the pandemic where I was running around the beach, etc., bringing a little bit of sunshine into people's lives. Um, a lot of my viewers know me from Tenerife. Not so many now, as there's probably more viewers know me from my electric car videos and New York and other places that I've been to since Tenerife. But it's Tenerife that I want to speak about specifically today because... Um, it never seems to leave me and it always seems to, I won't, I won't use the word haunt because that's not really the right word to use because it's been a fantastic place and I've got great memories from there and met a lot of very, very good friends that I'm still friends with uh, and have a lot of respect for. Now, uh, since then though, uh, I've been back to Tenerife many times and recently as well. And uh, as by the title, um, I'm drawing a line in the sand, uh, basically. This is the end uh, for, for Tenerife videos. I, I, and that's why I wanted to make this video, because I will not be making any more videos about Tenerife, and I won't be visiting Tenerife again to film. I will be visiting Tenerife to see my friends and Daniel, etc. And I may be on some of their videos and featuring some of them. But as for me and this channel, I will not be making any more videos about Tenerife or going back filming uh, going back to Tenerife I'm drawing a line in the sand and I think it's time uh, that I moved on from Tenerife a lot of my viewers now don't even know me for Tenerife to be fair and um, I've done all I can do in Tenerife um, I've walked the same play up and down the same promenade over and over again been to the same bars been to the same restaurants uh, and I have a lot of great memories from there but there's only so many times that you can do that and also along the way uh, you've got other vloggers out there now as well and a lot of other vloggers that are trying to follow in my footsteps and also um, my old friend the Knight Strider Andrew Knight himself who is Mr Tenerife and I have a lot of uh, respect for and a lot of fond memories with Andrew and I will speak out about this because I still get it in the comment section about it uh, about Andrew etc and have you been to his bar and all this and little digs and it's become a toxic waste ground for for keyboard warriors and people who are jealous and and also the people with massive egos etc I will state now that I never fell out with Andrew and uh, I've, I haven't spoken to him I've, people since then people move on and do different things in lives but I will stand by 100% uh, behind Andrew uh, as a vlogger he is fantastic for the island he gets all his information he does a lot of homework and I'm quite proud that uh, I had a part in that in setting up uh, his channel with him and move it, setting him on his way and he also helped me along the way as well because when the pandemic was here I couldn't get over there and he was helping me out bringing me videos and sending me videos etc so I have no animosity whatsoever with Andrew and I wish him all the best and I'm actually quite proud of the fact of where he's got and uh, and where he's, what he's doing for the island of Tenerife so I'm going to put his link in the description down below if you don't know who he is then where have you been because he is Mr Tenerife so his link will be in the description down below and if you want to see Tenerife videos head over and watch Andrew the Night Strider because he's got a fantastic channel and he brings a little bit of fun into it and he's also not just copied what I did originally, he's brought his own uh, creativity into it and he's doing a lot of live streams, which I don't do. He's got a lot more uh, confidence uh, with the live streaming, that's for sure. So you've got Andrew there as well. You've also got Tim, uh, who's a good friend of mine, and uh, he's got a fantastic channel uh, and he, he does his own things as well. He does like his balcony banter, etc. So it's fantastic. But what I've found with Tenerife as of late there is a massive influx of vloggers and wannabe vloggers uh, on the island that are trying to copy what myself and Andrew have done and it seems to be 
making a, as I say, a toxic waste ground really of people having egos and it's all about egos and that's not what I created this channel for. I created this channel because originally I was a graphic designer, uh, I've always been creative, I've always worked in the, the media, in newspapers and also creating videos etc and been a photographer and it was all about creativity for myself and never ever about having an ego or trying to be you know a famous youtuber it, i don't subscribe to all that at all and that's why i say uh, my friends and i don't call my viewers fans because i find it quite honestly a little bit embarrassing i'm not anybody famous i don't pre i don't pretend to be famous i make youtube videos i really enjoy making youtube videos i love what i do and i'm in the uh, uh the, the the position really uh, of being able to make a job of it and make a living out of it a, a privileged position that's what I was uh, trying to trying to trying to find the words for I'm not scripted any of this so I will not be making any more Tenerife videos I want to thank the people that have watched and enjoyed my Tenerife videos and I hope that you will stay with me because I'm going to be visiting other places around the world and that's what I want to do. I'm going to visit the other islands as well. I haven't visited uh, Fuerteventura. I've done Gran Canaria once and I found that really interesting. Uh, Lanzarote I did but I was ill at the time so I'd like to go back to Lanzarote. Um, but also there's Malta, there's Greece, there's Australia which I'm trying to sort out um, of which my girlfriend has given me a pass to go for a month to Australia. She said once my son's birthday is out of the way this January uh, then I can go on my way to Australia and I'm looking forward to that and that's what I want. I want to bring more creativity creativity and more content to the channel and my message to the uh, new influx of YouTubers uh, that have, have come into Tenerife etc um, who seem to think Tenerife is the way to go I would say my message to them is fantastic go for it follow your dreams and really really uh, go for it but but don't copy what myself and what Andrew has done do something different, try and bring a different spin to it because it's very easy to copy someone's style. And I'm not saying you can you can take parts of it, but make it your own, mold it into your own. So for me, I'm making this video now to state clearly and draw a line in the sand that I will not make any videos on my channel ever again to do with Tenerife. However, I will appear in Daniels etc or Tim's if I go over and see them but how many times can I film me on an aeroplane eating a Twix drinking a Yorkshire tea going to Tenerife it's it's uh, so that is where I'm coming from today that's my message uh, hopefully this will end all the tox toxic comments in the comment section etc about different channels on there every YouTube should be about fun and creativity and it's not turned into that with Tenerife. I'm not going to drone on about it and keep going on about it now. That's all I've got to say. Uh, I want to wish Andrew and all the other vloggers on the island massive success and go for it uh, and um, enjoy the sunshine because it's ter <laughs> it's terrible here. So I'm looking forward uh, to pastures new to going to different places as well. And also um, some other places in the States that I've been to. I, I'm going to go back and see uh, Martin at some point as well in New York, etc. Uh, and do that. I love New York, as you know. So there's going to be lots of different places. Also lots more videos in my car as well, uh, which I'm looking forward to. Um, so I've got lots planned for this channel uh, and lots of new stuff. We've got plans uh, of driving down to, uh, at some point, driving down to Benidorm in my electric car. Now that one is going to be fun, whether you like electric cars or not tune in for that one because that's going to be a laugh <laughs> trying to find all the charge points uh, along the way uh, in Benidorm as well so there we go anyway that's all from me today well I think there might be another video out later on so don't go anywhere <laughs> that's just a proper video out um, a fully edited one so that's it Tenerife is no more from me all the best to all the vloggers over on the island and uh, as I say make sure you head over subscribe to the Night Strider for Tenerife videos and also uh, Timothy Dowd I'll put the links in the description down below and uh, all the best to the people in Tenerife thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye bye